direct and inverse variation. The three quantities P, Q, and R are such that P varies directly as the square root of Q and inversely as the square root of R. Part one of the question, given that Q increases by 5% and R decreases by that 6%, find the percentage change in P. Part two of the question, if P is equal to 6 when Q is equal to 12 and R is equal to 25, Find the value of P when Q is equals to 15 and R is equals to 81. So those are the questions. Let's go straight to the solution. Now we're going to begin with uh, part one of the question where you are supposed to find the percentage change in P given that Q increases by 5% and R decreases by that six percent now how do you go about that now the first thing you're going to do is to write the relationship the equation connecting pq and r now in the first uh, statement given that pq and r are such that they, are, they have a relationship such that p varies directly at the square root of so we're going to begin by writing that p varies directly at the square root of q so this is how we write it. P varies directly as the square of Q. This sign is called the sign of proportionality. So P varies directly as square of Q and inversely. So for inverse variation, we write we have to put this division sign and inversely as the square root of R. The square root of R. So that is how we're supposed to write that. P varies directly as the square root of Q and inversely as the square root of R. So that is how we're supposed to write it. So the, the other thing we're going to do, <coughs> this is step number two. We shall now remove the proportionality sign and replace it with an equal sign. When you do that, we'll be required to introduce a constant of proportionality. I'm going to let the constant of proportionality connecting these three variables to be represented by k. So by removing this uh, sign of proportionality, and we're going to introduce a constant of proportionality that is k. So then you have q squared divided by the root of r. So that is how we do. When we remove the sign of proportionality, we have to introduce a constant. And that is now the equation that is connecting these three variables. So now let's go to the other part. Where we have uh, Q increasing by 5%. So what is the value of new Q? The original Q was 100%. So when it increases by 5%, it will be 105% which is the same as 105 over 100 that is 100 percent and q and remember q is squared we're getting the square of q so we have to get the square of these so this will give 1.05 q and then we get the square of that so when we square that 1.05 squared we get one point we get one point ten twenty five q squared so this is the value of new q that is after it increases by five percent let's go to r r decreases by thirty six percent so new r will therefore be the original R was 100%, so when it decreases by 36%, we shall take 100, subtract 36, which will be 64%. So just take 100%, subtract 36, and then you get 64%, which is the same as 64 over 100. And don't forget that uh, that will be the R, and we are getting the square root of these. We are getting the root of these. So when you look at the equation here, 
uh, what we've done in the first one for q we're getting the square then for r we are getting the square root so this will be the same as 0 0.64 r we get the square root there so the square root of 0 0.64 is 0 0.8 and then the square root of r will remain to be the root of r now having done that now we have um, new value for q and new value for r that is after the increase and the decrease now it is time to get the percentage change in p so after getting a uh, new q and new r now we should get new p new value of p because p have to change so p now we have to incorporate uh, these new values of q and r so this would be the constant is there and then uh, the new value for q will be 1.1025 q squared and then um, r will be 0 0.8 the square root of r so this will give uh, when we divide if we divide 1. 1025 divided by so 1.25 divided by 0 0.8 we get this will be 1.1378 q squared everything divided by the root of r and this will be now the new value for p the original p this is the original p and then this one is the new p now let's uh, proceed now and get the percentage change now to get the percentage change percentage change is given by change divided by the original value of p multiplied by 100 how do we get the change to get the change in p we should just take the new p subtract the original p that will give us the change in p so the original p and the new p which is a 1.378 Q squared divided by the root of R subtract the original uh, the original P which is and there is a K here we have to so there's a constant here so there's a K Q squared then the original is K Q squared divided by the root of R that now represents the change everything divided by the original which is k q squared divided by the root of r multiplied by 100 percent this is what is going to give us the percentage change so change of p and then divided by the original value of p and multiply by 100 now let's subtract this 1.378 q so when you look at this this is common that is common so we can let it be a value like x so when you subtract the whole of this is just like taking 1.7378 subtract 1 so we just ignore this because it is common we just take the this value 1.378 subtract 1 and this will give uh, 0 0.378 so this one will give uh, when you subtract that we get uh, 0 0.378 of course it is uh, k q squared divided by the root of r then divided by uh, the original which is k q squared divided by the root of r multiply by 100 so you notice something here that this is common this is common kq squared divided by the root of r is common so we remain with um, 0 
multiply by 100 and this gives uh, 37 point eight percent increase so that is an increase of 37 point eight percent so that is how we get the percentage change we just take the change in P and to get the change you just get the new P subtract the original P divided by the original P multiply by 100 so that is the first part of the question let's go to the second part of the question which is if p is equals to 6 q is equals to 12 so p is equals to 6 that is a part 2 of the question p is equals to 6 q12 r25 q12 and then r is a 25 we are supposed to therefore find the value of p when q is equals to 15 and r is equals to 81. Now, what are you going to do with these values of p, q, and r? When we insert them in this equation, now when we we have this connection p is equals to k, q squared divided by the root of r, you notice that if we substitute these values of p, q, and r, we shall be able to get the constant of proportionality. So let us do that. So p is equals to 6 is equals to k multiplied by q squared will be 12 squared then the root of r which is the root of 25 so this will give 6 is equals to it will be k times 144 divided by the root of 25 is 5 so k will therefore be given by 6 multiplied by if you make k the subject um 140 this will be 5 divided by 144 this will give uh, the value of k as so this will be 30 this will be 30 divided by 144 so which will be 0 0.2083 so that is the constant of proportionality now we can write the equation connecting uh, these variables having now k. So k is equals to uh, 0 0.283 and then q squared divided by the root of r. Now after getting that, now I have the equation of connecting p, q and r with the constant of proportionality inserted. Now the question is, now we should get the value of p when q is equals to 15 and r is equals to 81. q is equals to 15. So when q is equals to 15 and r is equals to, to uh, q15, r is equals to 81. So now we need to get the value of p. Now to get the value of p is easy. You just need to use this equation. So the constant is 0 0.283. Then multiply by q is 15. So that will be 15 squared. And then the root of uh, 81. So this will give uh, 0 0.283 multiplied by 225 divided by the square root of so the square root of 81 is 9. The square root of 81 is um, 9. So working out this using a calculator 0 0.2083 multiplied by 225 everything divided by 9 this gives a 5.208 so that is the value of p correct to four significant figures and that is how simply you're supposed to solve that question